This is a 2007 Ford Escape, and recently we've been having some idle issues where when we come to a stop, the engine seems to lug and die out. And the good news is there's a pretty quick fix that we can use to try to see if we can diagnose it. With the engine open, let's take a look at the part I'm specifically referring to. So right here you have the engine, and then you have the air intake right here. And right on top, mated here, is called the idle air control valve. This valve basically allows some additional air to flow into the engine when it is at idle. And when you're coming from a really high speed, say getting off the highway and coming to a stop at the exit, this valve will open and allow some additional air through. If it's not opening correctly, it will cause the engine to run lean and basically die out, not be able to have enough of the air fuel mixture to be able to run. So we're gonna actually replace this part. Gratefully, it bolts right on and it's a pretty quick fix. So let's go ahead and take the valve off. We're just gonna use a simple eight millimeter socket wrench here. You can use a uh, regular wrench too. And one uh, pro tip, if you're doing this after you've been running your engine for a little bit, let this cool down a little bit. This is bare metal. It's gonna be really hot as it's really close to the engine. So let's go ahead and take those screws off. With the screws off, there's a data clip here, basically controls when the valve is gonna open or close. So let's disconnect that. It's just a simple pop out socket. And with the valve in hand, you can see it's pretty grimy. And if you look inside, you can see some carbon buildup. And that's what's not allowing the valve to correctly open and close to let more air in. So let's go ahead and put our new valve in. You can see it's a lot cleaner, so hopefully this is gonna work out a lot better. You also need to be sure to replace the, um, there's a silicon uh, uh, lining there to help keep a good seal, so be sure to replace that if that comes with your kit as well. And with that silicon in place, all we have to do is just take our screws and re-thread in the new valve. All right, and then after we have that, let's go ahead and just reconnect the electric connection. And our valve is fully installed. It's gonna be good to take your car for a quick test drive. Be sure you're letting it uh, get up to high idle and that, or sorry, high RPM, and then bring it back down to regular idle just to make sure that that's connected. This isn't a guaranteed fix. There's actually a couple other components that are part of the air intake that might also be a factor here, but often this is the first one to visit. It's relatively cheap and can often give you some good performance and fix. Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and also be sure to drop a comment for any additional how to fix it videos or other questions you might have. Thanks so much.